Hey, buddy. Good morning. How's it going, friend? It is going so good. I got some formula uh, in the background for all you race car fans. I am so glad you don't have to adult today because it's Sunday. That's so. right. You adulted yesterday, though. I adulted yesterday, but I put it off like you were adulting. I was working, you were traveling, but yeah, it sound, sounded much better that you were adulting. So, <laughs> you know, everybody know we have been an, hit an all-time goal on our charity contributions of free will donations. We have so far collected not a fucking Girl. dime. None. Yeah, not a fucking dime. So thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Listen, try so, to support. Yeah. So what you're saying is you still have every single pack of... How are we ever going to of... get this goddamn church off the ground if you don't contribute? How So you have every single pack of matches left. You haven't even been able to donate a pack of matches out of your... Drug no drug. shit. No shit. Man. No shit. I mean, there's some I stuff do want to say... I do want to throw out... I told him I'd throw a shout out to one of our dispatchers in our lovely city, Brian... He bought a lot of swag. He loves the show. He came to me yesterday and said, bro, I was driving to work and you guys weren't on. I'm like, ah, fuck. That's right. Eric's adulting. So that's why I put that post out there. So I just want to send out a shout. Yeah. I just want to send a shout out to Brian and all them people that work down there. You guys are crucial to our mission and crucial to our safety. And we think about yeah. you guys all the time. So he's just, I told him I'd th throw him a shout out. So right on. Thanks, Brian, for listening uh, <laughs> and, and, and supporting and supporting. Swag. That's right. We're, we're, swag. we're one step closer to our soundboard, so Neil doesn't have to text me and make the sound go off. Exactly. With our, with our exactly. antiquated technology. <laughs> what so. is this? Episode 31? Are you Three, sure? 31. 31. Okay. 31. 31. Okay. Yeah. 31. Yeah. Over halfway uh, to what? I don't know, but we're over halfway to something. So. Hey, halfway to better times, better times. That's right. Ah, look at that. Here, here let's. Uh, so he's, I think he's uh, literally at work. We love you morning. guys. We're all listening. Uh, dude, we're that? making it, we're making, <laughs> we're, making <laughs> we're making things hap happen in public making safety it, facilities real time. Make, real making time. it happen. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I was, uh, so. I was uh, so, sharing our our podcast story with some guys this week too, and they were giggling like like yep. schoolgirls over the titles of our podcast alone. Yeah. Uh, when I was telling about it, they went to Spotify and they were like, "Have you ever cut your ball sack?" And they all just la <laughs> laughed. They're like, "Yes, yeah, we have." <laughs> yeah. And it hurts and See, it bleeds. It bleeds forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Real world, real world stories, <laughs> real world problems. I'm telling you, you guys will <laughs> learn. Guys and gals will learn a lot. From the show i'm telling you the do's the not to do's yeah it's awesome it's awesome and you will else, not regret uh, maybe listening or watching you'll be entertained for 25 maybe maybe five minutes but you'll be entertained hopefully that's the goal yeah exactly because we get a lot of oh we're gonna watch three minutes later we're not gonna watch so it's all good it's all good so yeah so shall we talk about he kind of froze on me we're so gonna... i'm just gonna keep on ad libbing here uh, should we talk about what you were doing for your adulting this week? Yes. Yeah. Because it back? sounds pretty cool and legit. So. Yeah. No. So. And and yeah. So hang on. Hey, let, let me let me segue into this. Yeah. Because we had a comment from somebody I work with that says, oh, what the fuck? You guys don't talk nothing about fucking fire service and this and this and this. And so from the get go, let's remember this is two firefighters views on shit and it's a show about nothing so we're gonna talk about shit cutting your butt we're not gonna tell sack. you what to do what not to do the do's and do's the sogs the sops no that's not what this is about we'll make fun of your you, we'll make fun of your ass for doing that shit but yeah this is a show about nothing we're here to have fun we're here to catch up that's the segue into what you did this week i had a pretty badass week uh this week i won't lie um i was down in georgia the second half of the week working and training with so some you, guys. Let's just throw that picture up there, buddy. You had it up there and then nice. I started. Bring it, Sorry. bring it back up. You're good. Bring her, bring her home. So, bring her. These are the boys. These are the guys I was with uh, this week. So I was working with um, a company called Tactical Resilience Training uh, for High Performance, uh, the, founded by Dave Gillespie, Rick George, and Bob Carpenter, who are all well known well-known firefighters from across the the southeast and canada and we put on canada. A training. canada 
And Go we ahead, put sorry. on a training for uh, 22, I think, 22 guys from across uh, across the southeast uh, on a 24-hour training consecutive. No, no sleep for these guys uh, in 24 hours to really start to mess with their mind so we can really get, get them trained in how to, like, slow roll, slow their breathing down, uh, get in control when shit gets real. Uh, we put them through super, like, crazy hard challenge courses, confidence courses for search and rescue, confined space, uh, and see how they react, see how they respond, and then figure out how they can overcome some of those fears, limitations, obstacles, that kind of stuff, and continue to perform. And so uh, a lot of it was based on breathing technique, which is how uh, Olivia and I got embedded with this group from the yoga for first responder standpoint, because we teach uh, how to control your mind and breath in training so you can use it on the fire ground, right? And mm -hmm. so... It was badass. So these guys uh, signed up for a 24 hour course. Everybody else that goes to these conferences left at about three o'clock in the afternoon to go. You know what they do at a conference? Drink some yeah. whiskey. So, so their 24 hour course ain't spread over fucking three days. It's one 24 hour day. They showed up right? at 8 a.m. They showed up at 8 a.m. Yeah. and didn't get relieved until 8 a.m. the following morning. Dude, that's fucking brutal. Yep. And no, they that's didn't sleep at all. Brutal. We didn't. Sleep them, at all, sleep them at all. We just worked them all day and all night. And so uh, the kinda training like staff, 19, the cadre. Kind of like Station 19. We work all day, all night. Just to let you know. All day, every day. Yep. So Getting uh, done. we were talking a little bit before the show. So uh, we're going to go into a little bit of tactics here uh, that we teach because you brought it up in the morning in the show. I'm actually, dude, I'm, I'm impressed. You went to their website and checked it out to figure out what the fuck I, did. I was up I did to this because, week. Because, um, I just wanted to know about it if we we're going to talk about it. And people say, oh, well, you guys don't talk about this and this and this. But this this doesn't only have to be for the fire service. I mean, you could do this in, in real life. Dispatchers could do this or EMS. Yes. This is just not. These are breathing yep. techniques, how to, how to how to calm down. It's not about breathing on air. It's just about your interpersonal, just how to yep. cope with things. Correct? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, that, so I did a little research because I don't want to be. The fucking yeah. dummy, which, you know, hey, if uh, I am, I am, but yeah. No, nah, so. I'm, I'm super impressed. So, yes, yes. Um, I did a little bit of research. Yeah. Badass. Kind of like for our Maltese idea. I did a little bit of research. <laughs> we, yeah. we Sorry. Research, we we researched Craigslist <laughs> screen printer <laughs> to get right. a screen printer. Yeah, exactly. And still haven't, still haven't bought one. So, yeah. um, the but there was one technique in particular that we did teach for on air because at the end of the day we wanted to teach a technique that could use if they got into a mayday situation um because there's plenty of line of duty death reports out there where they just ran out of air uh while being rescued by the, by the writ team right and so uh we teach them uh, a breathing technique called wheel breath uh, wheel breathing and this is on air this is with your scba and it's an advanced tactic. It's an advanced skill, but it's one that should, uh, I mean, will you ever use this in real life in an, in an actual fire? God forbid. No. Or, right. You know, right. I, I hope well, not. I really, really. Hope. Right. Yeah. It's a no, bad fucking if you day. Find if you yourself have to. Spot, correct. Cause the goal and purpose of this is if you're inside of a structure that's on fire, you hit that vibra alert and you're on low air and you've got to hunker down cause you're in, in way too deep and you can't get back out. Right. Uh, to find a place where you can shelter in place for as long as possible to give that writ team the longest chance to get to you, right? That's the that's the concept behind this breathing technique. And so how wheel breathing works is, is you actually shut your, uh, shut your SCBA off. Your bottle you shut, off. Shut it off. And then you breathe actually what's in the, the hose line uh, right. coming up in the regulator because it actually takes about 200 pounds of air to actually activate the, the pass alarm and everything else. And so this is if you find your place in a good spot, uh, it sounds counterintuitive, but to give yourself the longer survival, give the best location where you can and it's shut your system down so that the pass alarm and everything else is going off. But you still have radio contact because you're still conscious, right? right? So, um, so you shut the pack off. And then when you need to breathe in, you just crack the valve enough that some air comes through the hose up into the regulator. You take your breath and you shut it back off. But not enough to set off your vibro alert. Correct. It's, it's just, just, just a crack. minimal amount because, because the bottles are under, they're high pressure. Right. And it goes through a regulator to regulate it down so we can breathe it. So you're just cracking that bottle open enough yep. to basically put air in the line and then you shut it down. And then you can take them a couple breaths because, yeah. you know, they 
taught us is it uh step breathing mm-hmm. or yep. skip breathing skip, skip breathing, breathing. Yep. dude I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fucking fat ass and i'll suck down a bottle ain't no fucking mm-hmm. skip breathing coming out of me <laughs> i am like <gasps> ain't no ain't no fucking skip breathing coming out of me i'm just gonna be honest yeah well look at and, these guys and, yeah. i mean look at the guys in the class i mean they're not small guys uh well, well no, no the guy uh, i got big the, lungs okay right yeah so some impressive stuff though i mean some of the biggest the the big the big lung guys right i'm a big guy uh big bone big big lung you know we we push them till they hit vibe alert and then they'd come over to a station and they'd shut their bodies down as fast as they could uh and get into this this wheel breathing technique but they weren't actually working then they were in like a rescue mode come get me correct i am stationary i'm gonna tell you where i'm at and and keep breathing right so we pushed where them. I can ha- get the most out of that bottle. Right. We pushed them hard where their heart rate was redlining for the in first part of the bottle until they hit re- until they hit a low air alarm. Right. So that they could feel That's how much exertion they could on. get. I am redlined. I'm <laughs> heart rate getting my pack on. So yeah, and so, I'm, yeah, and fucked, some, I'm and fucked right away. And some of us are. <laughs> and so then they'd uh, so then they'd walk to the station, kind of like the time it would take to find a spot to shelter in place. Right. And then shut it down shut them their body mind and pack down and no joke dude uh the the times range because people would come in with different levels on their bottle by the time they got to the to the breathing area but uh, i was some of these guys some of the biggest guys at vibe alert lasted for around 90 minutes fuck you off of the wheel off the You're this, shitting me. This little guy, the third, the third one in on first row, third one in from the left, uh, in the black. The guy t-shirt. kneeling down. Yeah. yeah. 122 minutes after his low air alarm. Two alarm. hours on a fucking 45 minute bottle. Two hours. Well, he's and two probably minutes. some fucking marathon fucking runner. That that's like an anomaly. I'm that, sorry, that, dude. This it is was like great shit. That's like that, an, an anomaly. That, it was. That was a record. That was a record. They've taught this class dozens of times. So that was by far the record. The previous record was he an was, instructor or is no, he he's just a, he's, a, a, he's a he was one of the trainings. The training. No. Tra- a hey, dude. He kudos a, to you, but that's a fucking yeah. anomaly. They, it was. It was the record. But I mean, even even the big guys in the back row, they're up at 45 to 60 minutes uh, after the low air alarm runs out which is a hell of a long time for a rick team to come yeah. in and save your ass so yeah. and that's the goal that's, that's the goal right yeah so that's fucking crazy that's well, what yeah. i was up to this week uh was hanging out with those guys yeah but shout out to uh shout out to the boys uh that were on part of that training cadre yeah I mean, that's they were the training cadre was fantastic and the guys that signed up for that training they're badass they're badass motherfuckers let's be honest not a, oh not, yeah not your typical firefighter is going to sign up for a 24-hour intensive course yeah so but a lot of fun that's what i was up to yeah good deal good deal how was uh how was your week uh my week was uh you know pretty busy yeah. So not, you know, not too overly uh, talking about the anomaly and the guy that lasted 800 hours on his bottle. I just want to let people know I'm trying to find a meme and I'll find it and I'll post it fucking next week. But it was like, so you like see the strong men competition guys. These dudes are fucking huge and they got barrel fucking chests. And the one guy says, when you show me abs, all that means is you don't fucking eat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh really so these right. dudes are lifting like fucking buildings and then you know i'm gonna sit here and pose hey look at my fucking six-pack abs yeah why don't you fucking right. eat something brother and then come talk yeah. to me so I'll, I'll i'll find a <laughs> meme and i'll put it out there and yeah so. yeah here just this is a quick there's only 10 seconds so we always train before we in in the classroom before we go in the field but just so you can see like these aren't necessarily the smallest guys in the world these are these are your well no bre- bre- so, your, bre- your bread and butter firefighters learning how yeah. to do this shit so well, but awesome start, man. start, Dude, start is... in the classroom and then uh head out, out to the to the field to do it outside yeah so what was your part what were you teaching yep about so, yo know, the the yoga for first responders and how were you put into this mix what did you teach yep so i taught i actually taught a lot of yoga classes because remember what we're doing in yoga is actually training people to train their mind and breath while yes, being uncomfortable yeah. so, so did they have yoga training prior no, like we did no. our first, or we did our first yoga class in the morning uh, with these guys. They would do a classroom portion, and then a yoga class, classroom yoga, 
class from yoga. Were and you then, pissed off at him and oh, put yeah. him through two hours of rigorous fucking yoga? Or were you really mad at him? Hey, I'm not busted, saying that ever happened to us, but I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. I, uh, I, I busted their chops uh, hard. I mean, and literally in first class, in the very first class, uh, I got uh, the, uh, I called them all fucking weak to their faces i called a bunch of firefighters weak you do know they're about twice your size right i do i'm not they don't have an awesome fucking beard though and that thing's like fucking magical that's like thor's hammer your beard's like thor's hammer they ended up the bike at the time done uh (laughs) because i felt a little bit silly uh being in full bunk gear uh with a beard on i won't lie uh because i i did that i did uh but they actually loved it they're like no you're kind of like zeus coming down from the yeah. mountains like did, educating did, and teaching did you tell them hey scba's positive pressure doesn't fucking matter no i'm kidding <laughs> no uh but uh, but yeah. they were it's they all were good, all on bro. board uh, that is awesome man. so then that i taught so, awesome. so then i taught a lot of the science behind the bre- how the how the breathing works because that's what i'm actually super passionate about and that's what i get fired up and motivated and, and, for te- teaching that and stuff. you can't you can't you can't deny science it's all fucking backed up it's no, like you can't say is... well that shit don't work the science proves that it does oh well no it don't it's right. it's, it's science-based facts just like how many how how um how many times were we taught you can't Spray water in a fucking window with people inside because they'll get fucking steam burns. Right. Guess that what? The science came up this week. To say, hey, guess what? It actually fucking cools the environment. You will not get <laughs> steam burnt and you'll be okay. All right. All right. How many times yeah. were we taught about fucking reading smoke? Oh, yeah. The fire's coming out of the fucking AB corner motherfucker you don't know where that fire is burning science proves you don't know where the fire the seat right. of the fire is by reading smoke everything we have ever been taught has been debunked by science and it's not just some willy-nilly it's the fucking ul and the nist that are debunking these theories that we have really relied on for years ha- right and that's not- why So this is everybody's educational like portion that. of this. So maybe I'll set up an educational fund where uh, you guys can be like, oh, yeah, you guys are fucking right. So, yeah. I don't I mean, gosh, I wish I had the the, the video of it. I, I, I was teaching the classes, so I don't have the ability uh, to, to video while I'm teaching the classes. But uh, I thought at three you o'clock said the video. At, what? I don't have my phone with me because uh, I'm uh, so, scatterbrained and I was probably drunk this morning and forgot it at home. But I thought you sent me a video. <laughs> You, yeah, you might have, but well, some of the it's other fucking uh, long gone now. So yeah, some of the other guys took some videos and took some pictures for me while I was teaching. But uh, okay, for example, yeah. So here. hopefully oh. you made some connections, and these guys watch, listen to the show, love, love to have my oh. special guests. They will. These guys, are, they will. I know I can get. Hey, who's sure. that guy in so that fucking is red helmet over there? I know that guy. This, this is. T- this is 3.45 in the morning. This is 3.45 a.m. And these dudes uh, and we're doing pissed fucking... off at you. And so uh, they had just gotten their asses chewed uh, because, like, what happens is it's chewed like, by you. Get sloppy. You're getting tired. Chewed by you? Uh, actually, yes. Okay. Me and the... Yes. And so, when no joke, I've got these guys going ass. from... I guess I that's all that science-proven... Th- yeah, that's science... I it's get tired of sciences. Of, exactly. Now I can now I can <laughs> argue and fight with people with facts, except I know a couple of uh, training chiefs at certain fire departments will still pull out the Google box and try to debunk everything I say. I know, uh, I know. But uh, know. but oh, you're breaking up, bro, dude. Your internet's there in Colorado's fucking sucks. Here I'm back. I- I'm just gonna ad lib it. So I don't know if you can hear me, but you're like cutting in and out. Did you know? Is it because of the f- the twenty inches of snow you guys got? Is it still on the ground? Uh, it melted quite a bit yesterday, but yeah, okay. came back right. from came back from ninety one degree Atlanta, Georgia, to ten inches of snow on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's probably eighty degrees there today. So you guys are good. Yeah. You guys but, are good. Uh, 
um, I, one of the guys uh, that I was training with, they're like, hey, have you ever gotten a positive? Have you ever had to take a COVID test like this? Did you, what is this, that? This? A pregnancy? T- what the no. fuck is that in the background? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that, the guys that, like, that should be this, a motherfucking show, AIDS test. That should said, be show, no goddamn COVID test. Said, show this, show this meme, show this one, show this. Yeah, woo. That's a deal. Challenge accepted. Brother. <laughs> woo. Man, I don't know about that. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy it's shit. It's all about situational awareness. I've got yes. all kinds of yes. hot and bothered now. Yeah. Oh all my kinds god. Of hot and bothered now. Woo. For those that listen on Spotify later on, for those boys that gave that to me, that was the uh, that was the COVID test with some uh, interesting things happening. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I'll give them that. That was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. No. These guys. Uh, when I was telling about the podcast, they. Uh, I was. I, I was telling them that we've. Uh, we've had. Well, some complaints I, I fucking hope they com- listen. Com- complaints that we don't do enough of talking about like SOPs and SOGs and stuff, and they started laughing. They're like, "Listen, it says it right in the name: views from the back seat." And either one of you are fucking backseat guys. You're already liars and full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we used to be. <laughs> we used to be. Yeah, we used he's to like, be. So what not, the fuck? He's, so he's like, I'm not coming to you for accurate information anymore. Yeah, no, you will get information. It's not. It, it's what our views of the information is, and we kind of let everybody know that. You will learn something every time you watch the show. We we make a a point right. of, uh, of 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 give give uh, whatever kind of stupid information there is. All right, if you spray water in the window and there's fucking people inside, you're not going to kill them. All right. Either they're fucking dead or ready, or they're gonna be like, "Oh fuck, it's cooler now." So yeah, there you go. Informational tips. <laughs> all right. So uh, let me show you the shirt of the day, Eric. Remember this one yeah, when we came out to, to visit? We're all the way to the end, and we haven't even got to that done. Barrels and bottles. barrels and bottles. Golden Brewery. There you nice. go. There you go. We had Another. a lot more shit to talk about than my fucking t-shirt. So yeah, I just I wanted to. I have a distillery shirt on we got a common theme going on oh, here oh today. there you go there you go oh that must mean we love our fucking alcohols in, uh, in tennessee that must mean uh, we love our alcohols it's all good it's all good so what so what else you got bro okay so so i'm a new i'm a new truck captain to be honest with you i'm like um i'm like casey from chicago fire i'm like a truck captain now okay Roles have changed. Responsibilities have changed. You know, it's, you know, leave room for the fucking ladder. Don't all fucking eight apparatus park in front of the fucking building. You got to let the fuck, you got to give the ladder a little bit of room. Okay. Oh my God. You're so much more than a breakfast drink. You're goddamn right. You drink a fucking Guinness as thick as that shit is. Yeah. You're that's like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you can, if you can stick a spoon and it'll stand straight up in your glass of fucking beer. You ain't drinking beer, bro. That's a fucking eat a meal. meal. Eat a meal. That's eating a meal. <laughs> so, anywho, how I was saying is uh, we're fucking truck guys now. So, things fucking change. And there's all these fucking technological, scientific tip loads, flowing water, not flowing water. If if you have a helmet on, if you don't, if you're running around in circles and rubbing your belly and tapping your head, there's like all kinds of shit that, that, oh, oh, uh, about the fucking ladder. It's like, I just thought we were rolling up on scene, saving fucking kitties out of trees and saving fucking lives. And no, it's all technological. You can short jack, you can't short jack, you can do this, you can do that. La la la. It's like, holy fucking Christ, my mind's fucking spinning. A fucking, a fucking regular fucking engine guy, you get there, you put the fucking fire out. Done. Oh, uh, just fucking yeah, change before, now. before before the ladder is even set up. So right. you don't even have what to learn have any of that learned, shit. Up. What I so I was like, okay, so who are who is the best truck company in America? It's the TV show 911. Clearly. Clearly, Clearly the best fucking ladder company in the world, except the do's and the don'ts. What you never want to do as a truck company, let me see. Is you never want to be a change of direction in a fucking rescue. That's what will happen. It'll pull it over a cliff. You never want to be a fucking change of direction. So, yeah. Oh. So, this was last week's episode of 911. It is not a TV show. It is a fucking TV show. So, last week, 911. Watch it. 
Like, this is the first 30 seconds of the fucking show is the fucking ladder going over a fucking cliff. So, Dear Chief, no one was more surprised dear than Chief, I no, Exactly. Ladder. That's the one Dear ladder, Chief one, letter. Yeah. yeah, one ladder, 195, fell off the cliff of west uh, uh, of the of the cornfield right. exactly <laughs> Ex- yeah exactly we're going we're going over we're going over so yeah i just wanted to show that so i oh, know yeah. that we're never going to use it as a fucking change of direction so, so what is going that let's, is never going to happen to me re- that's not going to happen all right show that show that picture again let's so let's analyze this a little bit what the all fuck right. is actually going on here because oh, the ladder I... the ladder is bedded but extended the ladder oh, is no, bedded but no, extended. Okay. So all of so, the all of the all of the outriggers me, are out. Let me. Let There's me a driver pre- in there pumping the brakes. <laughs> let me let me premise this because I couldn't get the whole show. And if you want to really watch the whole thing, it'll literally take you a minute to watch the first. So, um, some hippie guy fell fell down the cliff. He needed help. The ladder company comes and says, "Oh, we need to do a uh, Birk- uh, fucking rope rescue." And the little Asian guy's like, "The uh, the captain's like." I'm going down. You stay here. I'm going down. And the one Asian guy's like, you're going on rope? Cam's like, hell yeah, I'm going on rope. So I guess that's the new term, going on rope. So they literally inch this fucking ladder to the fucking edge of the fucking cliff, put the outriggers down. And first of all, they put the outriggers down like on angles because they were like all fucking rocks, little itty bitty rocks. I'm like, kick the fucking rocks out of the way. Put the fucking pad down. Okay. So then they... (laughs) They basically rappel down on wing dates. So they rappel down. Okay. And as they're rappelling down, the ground stout starts to give way. Oh, no. All right. And the, so music, the, and the, starts, music, and the music starts exactly. to get scary. So the ground starts to give way. And they're like, the ladders, you know, the ladders come down. And they're like, oh, hurry up. Get off rope. We don't want to be pulled down. And they get off rope. And then the ladder tumble, literally oh. tumbles down so but it was pretty fucking because you see how the ladders retracted and it was and as it's coming down you can actually see the ladder hit and like kind of fucking shoots out as it probably would so i don't know that's some pretty good fucking computer aided graphics or whatever or they destroyed an actual ladder truck dude it looked fucking real as fuck and as it was going over the fucking outriggers were still out and everything so it was pretty you know i don't know it it looked believable kind of like you watch those movies and tv shows they're doing a fucking car chase and this and this if you look the fucking car still in fucking park you ain't going nowhere you gotta you gotta be observant you you, you gotta know your surroundings and you gotta point that shit out so yeah oops so Uh, yeah the last episode in 911 this past week if you want to see what not to do with the ladder we will never do that trust me not on my watch those are famous that's all fucking C shift. Those are, right fam- there. Those are famous last C-ship. words. I bet you that was C shift that was fucking on duty. I know it was. <laughs> Never happened on my watch. Dear Chief, no one was more surprised ah, than I. Good man. enough. Good enough. You sure that's stable? Ah, good enough. Close enough. Yeah, enough. close enough. Good enough. There you go. All right. There's my two seconds of fame. There is my it. another educational event. Don't do this. It it it, it won't look good. So you broke up on me again, bro. We're gonna have to like list one like. We're gonna have to label, label this one, like, what? fire service one hundred and one, the show. Yeah, what not to do, what not to do, what not, yeah. what not. So what this not is swear. the same show I talked about in I don't know episode, whatever. Uh, or no, no, oh, no, no, no. That was another show. That station nineteen show I was talking to you guys about before. Where the literally the first episode, first season. The fucking boot, the rookie steals a ladder truck, goes lights and sirens to a booty call. <laughs> Click off, never watching that fucking show again. <laughs> and that was supposed to be your ladder guy. And and, and and that station that he's supposed to be like Spokane, Washington, or something, somewhere in Washington. Right. So and then yeah. the we're, and we're, fun of it yeah, we're like one of our captains are from, so I look at him every time and I'm like, ugh, really? Yeah. And yeah. So it's all good. What? Somebody on the fire department from Washington? Jake. I guess I I'm not going to mention any last names, but yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Man, look how much has so changed good. since I left the fire department. There's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy there that I don't even know that's already a captain. So. 
Oh yeah, oh, so, yeah. Sorry, dude. Yeah, we're like, <laughs> we're progressive, man. We're going, 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 that's right, going. That's right. So, <clears throat> but I actually, gotta say, so you were part of my week. You were part of my story this week, man. Actually, I want to, I want to pump you up a little bit. Did you give me accolades? I did, I did. So um, I was telling the the guys at dinner at uh, at beers after we got done with training the next day uh, about uh, we were talking about how important legacy is in the fire service. And I told him that, you know, I feel pretty good because I had a fantastic crew uh, when I was company officer with you guys. I said and I said, everybody, every single one of the guys that I had on my crew have not promoted up from the position they were in. So uh, and then when I ask you, when I ask guys, Wait, like, hey, I'm was, thinking, oh, yeah, 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 every one of them, even the even the new guy. Yeah. Is, uh, is now even driving. the new guy, even the fucking uh, new guy at the time is now driving. And so I was telling him, I was like, I take a lot of pride in that, that we trained well, we did what we were supposed to do. They're good guys are all now promoted up to the next level up. And now they're leaving an impact on the crews that they all work with. Uh, we, then, we hope we are. We hope, we, hope we, are. we are. But this is what I think is super cool is that I told him, I was like, we all have phrases or saying super small nuggets that we live by, especially if we try to instill in our guys uh, to take on that they can remember and pass along. And every time I tell him, I was like, my friend Neil that I run the podcast with, uh, he knows. Can he I knows tell him? It, he knows what it is. Can I tell him? Yeah. Leave it better than you found it. Damn straight. Right? That's what and we worked no on. One will, no one will ever complain about anything. Leave it better than you found it. It's fucking simple. People don't do that. Right. And people that's why. People are so complacent. It's like, motherfucker. How many times are you going to walk over that, that, that fucking piece of paper on the floor? How many times are you going to open up that empty box of fucking donuts on the fucking counter before you throw it away? Leave it right. better, better than you found it. It's yep. really not that fucking hard. Yeah. And it's so like, that, unless that, your that. fucking house is a fucking pigsty, don't leave my fucking station a fucking pigsty. Oh, no. Right. No. Right. Ain't going to happen. That's a, but I'll be honest, that, uh, that would make, Makes me feel good when I can hear you say that that's still something you work, you teach your crews in, because that's that, that's what legacy is all about, right? Making sure yeah, that and, things and, happen and after you after you step away. If I never leave a legacy for myself, I will carry that one. Yeah, it, it's you're, fucking you're, simple. Leave it better than you found it, man. Literally, I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm leaving legacies, so. but it's not like that. Okay, <laughs> let me just let me just make that clear. I'm leaving legacies, but it's not. Yeah. It's not that, so. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, I'm I sure I will to, be to... talked about for years and years to come. So well, yes, we will. We all will for all kinds of reasons. Yes. But uh, yeah. at least that will be one little one little nugget of it. So yeah, all the guys that were on my crew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, that's just a. That's just a. It's a. Prou- it's a proudful. It's a. Prou- it's, I can. When I you guys right. Staff. All right. So. All right. So. So off, uh, off, still off, off of the tears. Off of the tears. All of the tears, I just want to post a quick photo because we're a truck company now, and the way our station's situated, it's kind of hard to back in. Not really. You just got to know what you're doing. All I want to know is I'm going to post this picture. I never thought in a million fucking years this would ever happen, okay? This is the fucking... So off to the right of this picture is about... 40 feet of fucking driveway to back into the fucking and, house. And we, you know and we where drove over the is. yard. And, this is and right we drove over the, the grass instead. They li- <laughs> yeah, they literally, oh my fucking God. I'm like, dude, are you fucking serious? Well, I misjudge that. D- do you fucking think? I don't want to criticize your fucking driving, but holy fuck, we're going to have to fucking whoop, do some training. We redo that. We got to redo that one, bro. Put some that cones out not there. Good. Put some cones yeah. out there. Put some cones out there. And in case. Nobody saw this with the price of gas being outrageous. This is probably happening more times than not. What do you think? <laughs> what yes. do you think? All okay. right, fellas. All so right. Those that can't, so those that can't see it on Spotify, it's a it's a meme of a. Uh, it says, "See, that wasn't so bad." Now let's go get you that tank of gas. And it's a that's a young buck. It's a young whipper schnapper with a. Uh, is that probably is got that, it. He's, a, he probably has an electric car and just got suckered into banging that 
old lady. Right. That grandma, I'm thinking, she's, she's yeah, in her seventies. She's in her seventies. She's trying to look her best, but she's hey, hey. Let's be honest. She's got some little, little itty bitty panties and uh, some big old titties. So I don't know. Maybe he had fun. Just saying. <laughs> He's you gotta look best. on the bright side of things. <laughs> you can't always look at the glass half empty. What if it was half full? You gotta look at the bright side. Yeah. Let's go get. So that what I'm telling there. everybody. You gotta <laughs> look at the bright side. Damn it. That's Woo! the next legacy. <laughs> That's the next legacy. Man. Well, so I shared a I shared a COVID tanks <laughs> ask folks. There you go. Yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll Oh no, no, you don't want to see no more. Trust me. <laughs> oh, the fucking race is over. So well, okay. Oh man. It's all oh, good. Man. Who the fuck all won? Right. I don't know. Oh, well, of course the fucking the same guy that always wins. Yeah. Yeah. Not like last year. Oh, it's fucking changed. It's fucking changed. Big time. <clears throat> Just like there's a couple more minutes left, or not really, but remember how I was ta- talking to you about last week or two weeks, two shows ago about NASCAR changing the cars and how these mm-hmm. single teams are really do- – dude, th- there's, like, guys you've never heard of that are actually doing good, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it was, all about being fair. Uh, <laughs> ish. All about being fair. Ish. Fair. Ish. So, yeah. Ish. Because let's be honest, so, if you ain't rubbing, oh, you ain't racing. Bro, bro, since I don't have my phone with me, you're going to have to do the uh, – and I don't have my soundboard yet because nobody has literally donated to Venmo or PayPal. Hey, fuck, send us five cents, man. You can – I mean, five cents over 100 <laughs> people is – is that five bucks? Five cents over 100 people, so. is that five bucks? Okay. I think so. I'm not yeah. I'm not doing math in public, but yeah. That's what it's, so that's, what it, that's what it feels that's what it feels like. Hey. <laughs> and no wood two nickels. nickels rubbed together makes a dime. So fuck, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm good with that, right? Hey, you got to think positive. Not the glass half full, but the glass not not not, not half at, empty, but the glass half full. So. That's right. We want that we so want twice I'm sorry, as much I can't, can't I I can't do the little I, I'll see if I, I I'll see if I can do it. I'll see if I can do it. All right. All right. We'll probably get through like five other ringtones before we get to the right one, though. And Lucy, put supper on the stove, my dear, because this ball game is over. Love you, brother. Love you too, brother. It was great talking to you. All right, man. It was awesome. Thanks.